Hey, what are we going to do with the next part two? Bowser's Charismatic Trap. Brought to you by MuchGames.ca. And actually, this is going to be fun. We're in the next world. A jungle world. Yeah, anyway. Georgia the Jungle. Apparently Microsoft wants to know how satisfied I am with upgrading to Windows 10. Yeah, today is actually uh, June, July, sorry, let's say June, July 30th. I upgraded to Windows 10 last night because it was available last night. So far I'm actually really liking it. It's a lot better than Windows 8. Although I really didn't hate Windows 8 or 8.1. But a lot of people didn't like it. I, I didn't mind it. But I understand the shortcomings they have with it. But we're not going to talk about my experiences with that. This is an LP after all. We're not going to talk about Microsoft and Apple and, you know, Android and all that kind of stuff. Google, basically. <laughs> with Samsung with them and whatever. But anyway. Uh... Okay, that was kind of word lag on my end. I don't know what's in the go with that, but maybe it's because I'm running a. Uh, I just finished running a um, fire scan with before with this keyhole. Uh, let me get some keys in one of these. I'm assuming it's gonna be in one with the. Yeah, let's just. There we go. Damn it, Muriel. Don't slip. But anyway, yeah. So I don't gonna give you the initial questions of you know, Windows 10 or anything like that. I did just buy two games for the PS3 uh, after work because I had to wait for a ride to come and get me. I was a little bit late getting off work, probably about 10 minutes, so therefore I would have had to wait like another half hour, 40 minutes for a uh, for the bus, because I usually get the bus home from work. So I managed to get a ride, so I had to wait for that ride to come get me. So I went into the local EV Games, aka GameStop in the States, and I uh, picked up uh, some used games for the PS3, because I'm starting to play my PS3 again. And they are basically Final Fantasy. Well. Lightning Returns, which is basically the third Final Fantasy XIII game, because I don't own that game, surprisingly. And the other one was a game that I played before, and I think I owned it before, and for some reason traded, uh, traded it in. And... shit. And that game would be The Last of Us, which I know is a game that Colin Elman 2 was recently playing when I was at his house a few weeks ago. Um, on his PS3, so I thought to myself, maybe I should get that game and start playing it again. I finished it before, but I just figured I'd like, get it. And when I'm an Edge member with EB Games, I actually got a like $4 discount on the game. And same thing with Lightning Returns. Actually, I got Lightning Returns for about 14 bucks <laughs> used, and I got the um, Last of Us for like 21 so, I'm going to probably start playing one of those later tonight. Uh, most likely the uh, the Last of Us. If I don't start playing more Kingdom Hearts or something, but <laughs> who knows. Lava levels. Yeah, red switch. Switch zone cleared. I still think that every time I hear the word zone, I keep still thinking of Sonic. You know, Sonic the Hedgehog, Zones. Which, by the way, if you haven't seen my Sonic Generations LP yet, you should be checking that out. It's also on Much Games Guides. Jungle, uh, what's the name? Yeah. Anyway. We gotta get the regular exit now in order to progress. Oh, Should have kicked that the other way. But that's okay, I still killed the Lotus. Lotus plant. Lotus Volcano. That's what they uh, basically refer to. Uh, but anyway. Kill everything here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna take a chill. Damn, Spiny. Yeah, I'm not taking that freaking hit. And I knew that Spiny was coming, too. Yes, the Spiny was coming towards me. Sexually, no jokes. No, seriously not. Um, got all the weekends almost here, and we still got shitty weather here in Newfoundland. Rain, drizzle, fog. That's what we like Newfoundlanders like to call it. RDF! Although we did have some nice weather the other day, but, um, it didn't last long. And it's not that warm, you know. Yeah, we're talking like 12 degrees Celsius right now, which I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. <laughs> Sorry. But most people who watch my videos are probably know, can do the math. I'm not even gonna check it. I can't even check it because I'm doing this right now. Sorry. You know, and speaking with Americans a lot every day at work, because I do speak with a lot of Americans between Monday and Friday, you think I would learn more about the way you got, uh, the Americans do the, you know, math system when it comes to, like, some of them do tell me about the weather and all that, and they mention the temperature and that, and then I tell them the temperature that uh, we're on to, and they're like, gee, that's really cold, 12 degree, uh, degrees Fahrenheit, and I'm like, no, it's 12 degrees Celsius, and they're like, oh, <laughs> what do you do? And then I tell them I'm in Canada, and they're like, oh. <laughs> and then as soon as I mention that, they tell me, oh, that's blah, 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 in Fahrenheit, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> and I thought to myself, I didn't really ask, but thanks for telling me. I still don't remember. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> neither here nor there, you know. A lot of the countries I know about deal with, like, the metric system, but the Americans don't, and that's, that's perfectly fine, you know, to each own. Although Grandpa Simpson on the Simpsons thinks they, the Americans, uh, use, uh, kind of use the metric system. 40 rods to the gallon, apparently. <laughs> but anyway, and it's good now to see that, uh, Colonel 112 is back to his, uh, Starting to like record more often and upload videos. I gotta still catch up on some of his videos, but an LP Rollis is now doing one of my favorite games from the GameCube. Um Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Metroid Prime are like my favorite some of my favorite Metroid games. Although my favorite is still Super Metroid, I'm sorry, Super Metroid is still the best. Um no. Super Metroid is one, if not the best Metroid game I've ever played. And when I have a Super Nintendo, I'm gonna have to go out and buy that game. And have an actual physical copy. Because yeah, I'll take the feather. Double feather for the win. But yeah, the redesign of Windows 10 compared to Windows 8 is uh, really good. I think Windows 10 is basically what Windows 8 should have been. You know, they basically took the best features of Windows 7, the best features of Windows 8, combined them together, and kind of, you know, made a well polished system. So far, it's not lagging on me, my computer's running really well, all my games, if you're wondering, like Final Fantasy 13, the games I'm currently LPing, I tried those out, well, I tried out uh, this, well, it's just wouldn't be affected anyway. It's running off a Z SNS emulator, so that's not really gonna matter to Run that off Windows freaking Windows 95 probably. <laughs> DOS, you know, DOS can run that probably. And this probably. In a sense. It's user interface even looks like freaking DOS. But anyway, um Yeah, so I still gotta try and check out Final Fantasy 7 and 8 to see how they run on this, but and 13. And um but I did try out uh, this and Sonic Generations, and they run perfectly fine. And I tried out uh, Fallout New Vegas, that worked fine, and um, so far it's so good, so they're working fine. New Vegas there. I don't see Final Fantasy 7 or 8 having an issue, or Final Fantasy 13 for that matter. Oh, look, the, get the key, go up the pipe, find keyhole. So far, the freaking secret exits in this are not too difficult. And I think I'm gonna do the pipe, go to the pipe way first. Probably do the ghost house. And hit a bit later. So let's do this fortress. And then I'll probably make it the regular exit in that level we just did. Depending on how long this takes. And then. Yeah, take it from there. 
Oh, really, game? Son of a whore. Yes. Son of a whore. Apparently someone just went live on, and I think Periscope. Thank you, phone, for telling me this. Such important information. Sorry, I had to kind of check that. And... Damn it! Okay, there we go. Thank God for rewinds. And save states. And I kind of figured that boulder was going to show up. That's a nice boulder. I expected another boulder. Oh, I was kind of hoping to kick the shell the other way and hit the blue Koopa. Oh, kill the Womp is better. Kill a Womp, 50 points. Kill two Koopas with a shell while the back is turned. A million. Yeah, the point, my point system kind of doesn't make sense, does it? Hey, not supposed to make sense. But yeah, I'm so far very impressed with uh, this game. It is, oh, unfortunately I went into the, you know what, no, oh, never mind. I was going to say I was going to take the hit, and it looks like these rhinos, I guess they're supposed to be like statues of, like, resnors, I'm assuming that's what they are, kind of act like the barrels of statues that shoot the fire. So, I'm assuming that's what they're supposed to represent. Oh, that was close. Ah! <laughs> the other blue, the other Cooper cocked the shell but fell into the hole. That was, that was epic. Yeah, I think I'm just going to finish this level. And then in the next video, I'm going to basically get the regular exit for that other level. And finish off the uh, rest of this world. That's what I'll do. So, that's the plan. While I, you know, do that. Okay. That's no. No. Okay, anyway. I was actually looking for Hyper Dimension Neptuna Rebirth 1 at AV because I can get it for PS3, but they didn't have any copies of that. You know, I already have it on Steam and I have it on my Vita, but I wouldn't mind having a PS3 copy of it too, just for the hell of it. Because I do have three, two copies of Final Fantasy X HD. But you know what, I'm going to finish that thought in the next part, but I'm going to wrap it up here, so... Um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next part where we take on the rest of this world, and hopefully complete it. See you later.